Australia is advancing. We all hear it and we all think it. We are advancing in technology, in human rights and in environmental care. In the way we deal with things, make things, break things. Australia is an able country, yet we are ruled by a lady that sits on the throne a couple of countries away. She wears a pretty tiara and we discuss her outfit choice. We watched her in pink as we handed over a fiver to buy coffee and then we headed off to work in our monarch run land. We watched her shake hands and dodge little flags as she flitted from country to country. We decisions. Australia's decisions. Australia is a fantasy. Oh, but we can't when the system running our country is based on years of, oh well, at least they've got experience. Well, we tell kids to lead the way, to be trailblazers, that money means nothing, and preconceived ideas mean nothing. But as Omar Aziz states in an article, what monarchism represents is humanity's slave mentality for celebrity and inheritance power. A prostration before thrones and royal insignia. So why are we not taking a step away from our antiquated ways and make a contemporary change to inspire our people? To encourage independence and capability, and do you really want someone to make your decisions that you're going to wire? To not allow money and esteem to lead our country. Haven't we moved beyond that? We will if we become a republic. No more sense of age superiority. She's outdated, so is the system. But Australia and our abilities aren't. 